Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem in our time and work chapter. See, A, B, C can separately complete a work in 10 days, 12 days and 15 days respectively. And they started the working together. They started the working together. But A left, A left 5 days before the completion of the work. Whereas B left two days after A left. Let us say the total work, the total work lasted for uh, X days. Total work lasted for? Total work lasted for uh, X days. Now, A left before, uh, five days before the completion of the work. So, how many days A worked? X minus five days. A worked for uh, X minus five days. A worked for X minus 5 days. B. B worked for. C. B left 2 days after A left. So, it means B left the work just 3 days before the completion of the work. So, B worked for X minus 3 days. X minus 3 days. Whereas C has been, there is no change in case of C. So C has been in the work right from the beginning to end. That is C worked for X days. C worked for all the X days. See, now let us say the total work. The total work is the LCM of these three numbers. Total work say, total work say 60 units. Total work 60 units. Now let us see how many units of work will A do per day. See, A can complete the total 60 units of work in 10 days. So A can do 6 units of work per day. A can do 6 units of work per day. Whereas B can do 5 units of work per day. 12 5s are 60. So B can do 5 units of work per day. Whereas C C, 4 units of work per day, 15, 4s are 60. So, C can do 4 units of work per day. So, now the total work, A, X minus 5 days, 6 units per day. So, A, A can do 6 into X minus 5 units of work plus B, work for X minus 3 days at 5 units per day. So, 5 into X minus 3 plus C worked for X days at 4 units per day. So, C total work completed by C is 4X. So, this must be equal to total units of work. 6X plus 5X, 11X plus 4X, 15X minus 30 minus 15 minus 45 minus 45 plus 6 plus 45. So, 105. 15X is equal to 105. X is equal to 7. Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.